everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Katie and if you're new here welcome to my channel I do mostly Harry Potter videos and maybe a few different ones in the near future but today is a baking video because tomorrow it's my birthday I am so excited so I thought it would be best to do a pre-birthday baking video and I'm going to be making some Harry Potter inspired cupcakes uh, they're going to be butterbeer inspired so hopefully they turn out alright, fingers crossed. So if you'd like to see how I make these butterbeer cakes then keep on watching. Also if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I've got lots of videos planned so don't forget to hit, to hit the little buttons. So let's get started. So I've got my little notebook with my ingredients and the instructions on how to make these. The original recipe is actually for a bigger, like normal cake kind of cake. <laughs> and I also got the recipe from uh, Potter Puppets channel, uh, Susie. So I will link the recipe that I got from her, her video in the description below if you'd like to have a go at making it yourself. Uh, but I'm making it in cupcake form and I'm doing it slightly different. I'm using ready-made uh, frosting icing and I'm going to put some toffee sauce in it so hopefully give that an extra butter peer taste. Fingers crossed. So let's just go through the ingredients. So you need self-raising flour, uh, baking powder, a butterscotch pudding mix, so I just got what we call like an angel delight mix. A teaspoon of salt, some butter, and vanilla, a vanilla extract, a cream smoother. And then just for my take on the Topping. I'm using some ready-made vanilla frosting and then I'm just going to mix some toffee sauce in it. So obviously you need uh, cupcake cases for my you need granulated sugar for this one. So that's all the ingredients. Let's start putting it together. So the first instruction is obviously to preheat your oven. As I said, I will link the recipe that I use in the description. I have an, elect an electric oven, so it can be a bit temperamental. And when I'm doing cupcakes, I don't think they'll need as high a temperature as the recipe states. So I'm just going to put it on a little bit lower, and hopefully it should work. <laughs> Making the cupcakes, so I've set up some cupcake cases. I might need to set up some more, depending on how much the ingredient the butter makes. Uh, so first we need to add all, I think, all of the dry ingredients. So I'm just going to get them all out, measured out now. So we need two and a quarter cups of self raising flour. I've got some of these like measuring cups. They come in like a little set. Um, I've got them off Amazon, so I find these easier measuring our ingredient and <coughs> a quarter. I've got one of them twisty ones so I'm just gonna put one two twists of salt in that should be half a teaspoon. Right, so that's flour, baking powder, pudding mix, salt, whisk, that's my whisk, whisk and set aside. I'm just going to mix these together. Next, add the butter and sugar in a bowl and beat until light and fluffy. So I need another bowl. That's the bowl. Right, so butter and sugar. So it was a cup of sugar. Once the sugar done. And the butter, 
Butter, butter, butter, butter. I can't tell I'm excited for my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Spoon. How much butter do we need? Three quarters of a cup of butter. Three of those. Beat with until light and fluffy. I don't have an electric whisk, so it's going to take me a little while. So I might do it off camera and then come back to you once I've done it. So I'm back. Um, my arms just had a little workout. I've got the butter and sugar beaten. Add eggs one at a time and beat. Oops. One egg. They so need three eggs for this. Two eggs. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. into this mixture. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see how much vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. This is what happens when I bake. Sometimes I just wing it. Right, so I've added the vanilla into the butter, sugar and egg mixture. I'm going to quickly mix that in. It says add half the flour mixture and stir to combine. Well, I'm going to have to add half the egg mixture because I've got my flour mixture in a bigger bowl and the butter and eggs in a small bowl and that flour is not going to fit in here. So I'm going to have to do it the opposite way around. Right, so I'm going to add half. That's about half. Stir to combine. Use a spoon, the whisk might get lumpy. Right, so I'm stirring like so far. So pour cream soda in and combine, then add the rest of the ingredients. So cream soda I need one and a quarter cup. cream soda. I've never actually had cream soda. So it's, whoops. This is the quarter cup going in. Whole cup. Da da da. Ooh. I don't know if I could drink a whole glass of it. I think it's better as a in this cake. Right, so it's telling me I need to stir the cream soda in, combine that in, and then add the rest of the wet ingredients. Well, in my case, the wet ingredients on the actual instructions is the opposite way around. I mix, mix this, mix this into a smooth batter. Obviously, for me, just add, uh, evenly distribute the mixture into cake cases. So I'll be back with you in a minute once I distributed the cake butter. So I'm back. I've mixed the cake mixture. I'm just going to quickly tip it so it doesn't all fall out. It's very bright, which is what we want. It's meant to be butter beer flavour. So I'm now just going to... I might need to set up some more cake cases because I think I'm going to have more than I need. So I'm just going to get another tray out. Just whack it in there. Right. There's some more pink ones. Let's go for some more pink ones. Here's my birthday after all. Spoon the mixture in. Hopefully. Also, as I said, I'll link all the the recipe that I followed ish um, in the description below so if you'd like to have a go yourself then obviously please do it would be great to see other people having a go and as I said Susie on Potter Pop it did that the actual full-blown recipe with the cake and the marshmallow frosting I didn't want to try that because I knew I'd like blow up my kitchen or something 
hence why I'm doing the vanilla frosting with toffee sauce mixed in. I'm going to attempt, attempt to pipe the icing as well, so that should be quite fun. Um, so yeah, let's just distribute this mixture. I've distributed the cake mix evenly-ish. They're quite full, so they might go quite, hopefully I'll make their rise and then become more like an actual, what I would call an American style cupcake. These ones, I'm not sure how they're going to turn out because they're just in a tray, so the case is still a bit, they've got a bit wide. I'm just going to put them in the oven. I put my oven on a lower temperature than what the recipe states because I've got an electric oven and it can be a bit temperamental. So I'm just going to put them in the oven for about 20-ish minutes and see how we go from there. I will see you when they come out of the oven. Hello all, I'm back. Uh, there's been a little slight, not massive accident, but the tray nearly like slipped out of my hands but I managed to salvage five to six cupcakes that nearly fell out whilst burning my hands. Um, so they're out, they're cooling. Uh, I'm just going to take you to the other ones that are in the oven because I don't know what I'm going to do about these because they are a bit, they've gone a bit all over the place. So I'll just quickly show you. So as you can see the mixture has literally like nearly fell out of the cases. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. I'm just going to leave them in there for a few more minutes. This is what the cupcakes have turned out like. I'm just going to let them cool and then I'll show you how I'm going to attempt to make the icing and pipe it. Hello everyone, I'm finally back. The cakes are all cooled down. It's time to make my icing. Tesco, so I've just bought some Tesco vanilla frosting in a bowl and then put some toffee sauce in, mix it together and <laughs> see how it turns out. So I've done four spoonfuls of vanilla frosting. I'm now just going to put some of this treats toffee sauce in. That's off, so I'm just going to squeeze a load of toffee sauce in. That's just what it looks like. I'm just going to mix it together. Another squeeze in just to see if I can get more toffee flavour in it. Putting the icing in a piping bag. How it's turned out. It's kind of a similar colour to the foam that you'd. So I'm just going to make some more icing and hopefully have enough to pipe all these cakes. So I'll be back with you in a moment. So. <laughs> The piping bag just like fell apart basically. The piping nozzle came off and it, I nearly lost the icing. But I managed to salvage it. So I'm just going to spoon the icing on. I'm no, you won't find, find me going on Great British Bake Off anytime soon. So I'm just going to spoon the icing on and then just let them cool. And hopefully the icing will just thicken up and stay on the cake. Obviously, there's the piped one and that's the odd shaped cakes more rounded cakes to go now. Here they are. I might stick them in the fridge to try and get the ice in to, so it stays on the cake better, I'm guessing. So yeah, that was my Butterbeer inspired cupcake video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a magical thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. It could be an early birthday present from yourselves. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because as I said there's lots of videos coming soon. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!